Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Today in our global cooling series, we cover a paper titled Harmonic Analysis of Worldwide Temperature Proxies for 2,000 Years. The full paper will be available in the link in the description box. The Fourier spectrum of a global temperature record G7 composed of high quality temperature proxies worldwide and recent instrumental data demonstrate the dominance of three climate cycles with 1,000, which is the eddy, 460, it's not named but frequently reported, and the 190-year periods devries Seuss cycle. These three signs represent the 31-year running mean of G7 with a remarkable Pearson correlation of 0.84, indicating their importance for climate. G7 and likewise the sign representations have maxima of comparable size at 80, 0, 1,000, and 2000. We note that the temperature increase of the late 19th and 20th century is represented by the harmonic temperature representation and thus is of pure multi-periodic nature. It can be expected that the periodicity of G7 lasting 2000 years so far will persist also for the foreseeable future. It predicts a temperature drop from present to AD 2050, a slight rise from 2050 to 2130, and a further drop from AD 2130 to 2200. As a main result of our study, the construction of global record G7 from numerous temperature proxies reduces noise and thus allows isolation of these global cycles. The dominance of the significant frequency components in the G7, as opposed to the strength of other components in the spectra of the individual proxy records, supports this view. We provide a new confirmation for the link between solar activity and climate cycles by analysis, showing a remarkably good agreement of the power of the 190-year period for temperatures and solar activity over 9,000 years. Figure 2 and Table 2 show the periods of 1,000 and 460 years are also apparently common in records of temperatures and cosmogenic nuclei. Again, the link to this entire paper is in the description. Please like and share. We'll talk soon.